to install a uh, QBTorrent app onto your QNAP server, we go to the App Center. Then we will have to add a custom repository. Click the gear icon on the top right corner of your window. Copy the exact URL on the screen to your new uh, repository. When you search for apps on the new server, make sure you are on the new server, not the QNAP store. I'm gonna install QBTorrent right here. Make sure you check that because it is not a approved uh, app. To speed things up, I'm gonna cut out a lot of clips right here. After the uh, installation is complete, you can open it right away. You will uh, see a uh, a white page with a message saying uh, it's unauthorized, but this is normal. Click on the uh, URL and press enter. That will refresh the page, and you should see a page like this. The default login is admin. Default password is admin. Admin. Once you got in, you can change your username and password by going to uh, option. Head over to web UI and you should be able to change your username and password. To save your change settings, you scroll down and click save. Now I'm going to log out and log back in to test out a new password. It worked. Now I know that the new password is working. Um, now we go to the next step. I'm going to set the uh, default download location. This way I will know where it's going. I am going to use Plex Media Server as a reference to get the correct uh, folder directories. In my case, the pool storage is in cached def one data. And I want to place the uh, default download location to a download folder. After updating your default download location, remember to save and you are ready to begin downloading. The rest of the video is just uh, maybe a long version of me uh, demonstrating how it works and how I access my download file. You don't really have to watch it because it's it's really easy to to use. Well that is all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.